welcome to today's video. We're talking what happened to Ipsy. So I kind of have a story time in here and I also wanted to go over with you guys what my choices and availability were for the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for January. I had another issue happen and I just wanted, like I said, to get you guys' thoughts, see if you guys ran into these issues and all of that. So if you guys are new here, hi, hello, and happy new year. My name's Rhonda and over here we always embrace the hot mess because it's a judgment-free, drama-free, stress-free zone where we sit back, relax, we unbox, we chit-chat and we just have a good old time and you know forget about the craziness that's going on around us potentially so anyways guys let's go ahead and jump into the video all right guys so this is a video I did not plan on filming however Today is January 3rd. Yesterday, January 2nd, is when this choice opened up for the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Now, if you guys are new to Ipsy, Ipsy has different levels as for or memberships for their subscriptions. The one we're going to be talking about today is the $25 a month subscription, where you do get to customize your bag, where you do get five items. They choose two based off of your profile, and then you choose three items, and then they give you multiple choice which I absolutely love that however I've been a little bummed as far as the choices go so I had some weird things happen as well and that's what I'm making this video for to see who else had this information or had this had these issues and maybe the information that we could talk about maybe in the comment section if Ipsy happens to come across this video will help them out to make things better in the future I don't know wishful thinking I don't know manifesting whatever anyways like I said I'm cooking dinner guys so mom life I this is now like the third video I filmed so you're gonna see this outfit in a lot but as I said you do get to customize three out of the five items they do choose for you so I was a little bummed because they did show me what they chose I don't recall seeing that in the past but maybe it's because I would just kind of I like to see what the options are but I don't necessarily like to know what I'm receiving for example boxy charm you customize one item in your base box and then they sprinkle in the other items so I only know one item so the other four are always like exciting to see what I do receive even though I do sneak peek spoilers doesn't mean it's going to be guaranteed of what I talk about you know what I'm saying anywho it's been a while since I filmed guys so as far as the ipsy picks they did I'll pop it up over here for you guys they chose the billion dollar brows best brow tool kit ever for me and the pixie by petra hydrating milky serum so those are the two items that I now know will definitely be in my bag so, like I said, you're going to see multiple choice. So, I'm going to pop up what my multiple choice was. As far as my items, they were six items I got to choose from. And I'm like, okay, it, it's not bad. We're going to see things like the Complex Culture Good Lighting Highlighter Duo in the shade Lucid was an option. A little information about that, it does have a retail value of $30. It is a full-size highlighter duo. I personally have enough highlighters that I could highlight flip in the entire neighborhood for probably the next five to ten years and I still probably wouldn't run out no I'm not bragging your girl just is a major collector and has a little bit of some shopping issues but anyhow moving on from there when I saw my choices the next one was the IGK mistress hydrating hair balm this does have a retail value of $29 I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm obsessed with my hair as much as I love my skincare this is what I was going to choose um it's a leave-in type a conditioner it's a full-size item and I love IGK products next we had a choice of the six-pack pure lease beauty blue lotus and seaweed treatment sheet mask the six pack does have a retail value of $36. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I do enjoy Pure Lease products, but I have an abundance of sheet masks right now, so I'm like, mm, I don't really need that. Moving on, the next item is by Laura Geller. That was one of my choices. This is a Quench Intent Hydrating Foundation in Medium. This does have a retail value of $34. Now, as far as the shade goes, they based the shade off of my profile 
Obviously, your girl needs a little bit of tan, a little bit of sun, a little bit of sunless sun, something because the vitamin D is a little deficient. You know what I'm saying? So this is a tinted moisturizer as a choice and it's a $34. It's intensely hydrating formula infused with hyaluronic acid and it's refreshing as a splash of water. And I'll be honest with you guys, you guys know how much I love my QMS. Uh, honestly, that's all I have on today with a little bit of um, concealer and powder and that's all I have on my face. I mean, I'm not going anywhere other than take my kid to work. So that's it, you know what I'm saying? So half the time, I haven't even been wearing makeup for the past two and a half weeks. Yeah, so to put makeup on today, I was like, who is she? Huh, she's got eyebrows again, that's crazy. Anyways, then moving on, we have Pure Least Beauty again. This is a Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer with a retail value of $45. Again, I think that if you choose the Pure Least, you're gonna be really happy because it is a wonderful, wonderful brand. Moving on from there, I had the LaRousse Beauty Cheek and Eye Brush Set in the shade, in denim. Um, I don't need any more brushes. These have a retail value of $150. I don't think I've, Actually, I think I have tried these brushes before, maybe? I don't know. But as you guys have told me, like $150, sometimes they kind of, you know, accentuate the price tag. Um, it's a five count full size makeup brushes. So I went through, I was going through each one, I was taking screenshots, kind of reading up, kind of, you know, trying to teach myself, make sure that I was making the best choice for what I wanted. So I went back to click the IGK and I was super excited about it. I was like, yeah, okay, we're going to go with the IGK. I could always use like, you know, more hair care products. Love that. So I go back to my multiple choice after clicking on each individual item. Sorry if you hear the microwave beeping. I will get that momentarily. Judgment free zone. It's gone. And I'm like, seriously? That's weird. Maybe it sold out. I don't know. I guess everybody picked it. So then they replace it with the Firma Beauty Flat Oval Blending Brush and Round Blending Duo, retail value $27.98. I was bummed. I was so bummed because like I said, I wanted that IGK. So anyways, long story long because that's what I do, I did choose the Laura Geller Quench and Tint Hydrating Foundation in Medium, I think. Then of course I get to choose another item. So as I'm looking, I have choose your second product. Boom, I'm gonna pop it up over here for you guys. Now I have four items to choose from. The first item was the Wonder Beauty Lip Retreat Oil and Oasis, retail value $22. Then I had the Butter Skin Cleanser. I am like an immature little two-year-old at heart, I guess. Um, $15 retail value of this. It's a facial cleanser. Then I had the Item Beauty Cheek Money Duo in Mood Vibes. Low-key was a little shocked to see yet another bronzer because as you guys know, I think it was October. I had like three bronzers in my bag. So I'm like, we're good. Matter of fact, I think I put this in a giveaway. <laughs> so one of you guys actually got it. It does have a retail value of $18. And then I have the Ofra Cosmetics Bossy Eyes and Penthouse $15 retail value. This is like a, I assume, type of liquid glitter stila type of eyeshadow. Um, so that, what I ended up doing is choosing the Wonder Beauty Lip Oil Retreat because we can never have too much hydration to our lips, especially in this crazy Kentucky weather. So that's what I went ahead and I chose. Then I had a third choice that I got to choose from. Now, Haley and I have not compared yet, but the one thing we did compare on, that is the big thing I wanna know for you guys. So moving on to my third round of choices, I have the Complex Culture Power Rose Lip Gloss in Clear. Retail value, $18 full size. Next we have the YC Collection Let Me First Primer, $15.99 retail value, and this is a blurring primer, has a velvety texture and it applies evenly. It promises to have no peeling. It literally says it promises. It grips whatever makeup you layer, blah, blah, blah. 
So I thought that would sound pretty intriguing. And then last we have the Beauty For Real High Def Mascara in just black. Retail value $19. It is a smear proof jet black mascara, which sounds intriguing. However, I have gotten just last month like two or three new mascaras and subscription boxes. So I did not end up going with that. What I ended up going with is a YC Collection Let Me First Primer. It seemed to be an affordable primer. Intrigued by it since I went ahead and chose the Laura Geller the tinted moisturizer foundation what have you I thought why not let's see what we can do so as you know after you go ahead and make your choices oh you know what I forgot there was one other choice guys the skin Iceland minty lip fix I didn't need it because I already chosen the Wonder Beauty so anywho I got ahead of myself so as you know, after you make your choices, you go ahead, you confirm, and then you get to go ahead and shop the add-ons. Now, just like with BoxyCharm, the add-ons is where you get to save a boatload of money on full-size products, deluxe size samples, everything. And last month, like I told you guys, I wasn't able to shop add-ons because I couldn't even confirm what my choices were for my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus frustrating so I thought we're not gonna have that issue again it'll be fine and it says great start here's what you're getting click to confirm and then I get this I'm like oh, okay so everybody and their mother's making their choices it's fine so what ends up happening is I end up getting an email the next day today January 3rd when I'm filming this video and it's like hey if y'all if you really want this you, you need to click your confirmation and I tried to do it and I got this so I don't know if my stuff is confirmed because even now trying to get into my ipsy app I'm still getting this little wheel of death of frustration uh, so this is month two of those issues and again I'm not shopping add-ons because if you don't confirm you can't get to the add-ons at least in my situation I've not been able to do that so I wanted to make this video I wanted to know one are these some of the choices that you guys are getting Haley did have the same issue as well um, same email everything that is what we she was over here last night and I was like are you having this issue is it going through for you she's like no I turned off the Wi-Fi went with data on my phone and everything and I could not get it to confirm so let me know are you guys having the exact same issues were you able to confirm your selection and what were your choices what did you think about the choices I was not that excited I'm just gonna say it I was not that excited but I did take screenshots of everything so I can make sure to see if hopefully whatever shows up in my box was anything that they were offering me. So let me know down below. I don't know what they're doing, but like I said, this is the second month in a row that I've not been able to confirm any of my choices or even shop the add-ons. Do I need to shop add-ons? No, I don't. I really, truly don't. Like, trust me. <laughs> I really don't but I want that option to be there you know what I mean like thank you Ipsy you're saving me money but I want to make that choice <laughs> all right guys that's all for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you found it helpful don't forget to give me a follow over on Instagram check out my second channel hot mess mama vlogs where it's a lot of randomness typically in my PJs and of course Haley has a channel as well I'd love for you to check her out so anyways friends until next time as always I hope you have a wonderful beautiful and blessed day kisses from Kentucky Mwah. bye guys